In Office 365, sometimes there is a need to block certain types of applications or apps from users because you don't want them to have access to them for various different security reasons. So for instance, let's say we don't want them to have access to the Outlook web app that you see here, or we don't want them to be able to get email on their phone. Let's go ahead and set that up by clicking on the admin icon, and we'll go in and select a user we want to edit. Let's go ahead and choose Jane, and we'll scroll down to where it says Mail Settings, and we'll click where it says Email Apps, and we'll click Edit. Now, by default, Jane's going to have access to all email apps. Let's go ahead and turn some things off and on. Let's say Outlook on the web. We're going to turn that off. Outlook on the desktop. That would be the Outlook uh, application. We're going to turn that off. Exchange Web Services, also off. Active Sync, off, IMAP, and pop. So if you decide you want to turn any of those back on again, you can just go ahead and turn them on individually or just go ahead and have them all on. And when you're done limiting the types of email that you don't want them to have access to as far as apps go, you can just go ahead and click Save. Now, from personal experience, what I would recommend is to turn off pop and IMAP since they tend to be less secure and I would leave the others on by default. And just go ahead and click Save. So in Office 365, that's how you limit a user's access to certain email apps.